For this question, we're trying to prove from first principles that the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Okay, so let's first define our function f of x. f of x is equal to x cubed. We're trying to find the derivative, so f dash x. The equation to differentiate from first principles is this. It's the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. So we want to put things into this fraction, simplify it, and then let h approach 0. So our first step would be to work out what f of x plus h is. Whenever we have something inside these brackets, we replace all of the x's in our original function with whatever is inside this pair of brackets, so x plus h. So it'll become x plus h cubed. And to expand this, I would use binomial expansion. You can use the three brackets all next to each other as well, and then just expand it out. I find binomial a lot easier, especially if you memorize the first few rows of Pascal's triangle. So this will be x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed. Okay, so now we can put this into our equation. f of x plus h was x cubed 3x squared h. And then we take away f of x, which is x cubed. Divide the whole thing by h. So I'll simplify the numerator. The x cubes cancel and we're left with 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed, all over h. We can then divide by h, so it becomes 3x squared plus 3x h plus h squared, and then finally we let h approach 0. So basically we see what happens when h gets closer and closer to 0. Well, when that happens, these two terms will become 0. So we're just left with 3x squared. Now we can check our answer by considering our function. We have y is equal to x to the power of 3. Now just by using the normal rules of differentiation, so bring the power out, reduce the power by 1, we see that this is what we have. So that is our final answer.